Day seven, one week. What is God doing? How are you feeling? We would really love to hear from you in the comments below. Fasting is all about appetite. In the Message Bible, in the book of Hebrews, it says, watch out uh, for the Esau syndrome, trading away God's lifelong gift in order to satisfy a short-term appetite. When we go to Genesis 25, we read that Esau came home famished from hunting and noticed that his young brother Jacob was cooking. As you would expect, he asked for some of the food. Jacob offered a trade. He would give Esau his stew if Esau would give up his birthright. Do you even know what a birthright is? Yes, it's the right to the inheritance and spiritual leadership of the family, and it belongs to the firstborn son, so um, pay up. <laughs> okay, so you got the right part correct, but the inheritance comes much later. Well, here's the crazy part. Esau accepted the deal. He traded his birthright for a bowl of soup. It might seem bizarre that Esau would sacrifice something so valuable for something so small, but the truth is, it happens to all of us. We can find ourselves settling for less for the sake of satisfying short-term appetites, and fasting is all about appetite. Fasting is ultimately a declaration of what our greatest appetite is and what we believe will ultimately satisfy us. This is the very reason why God honors fasting and moves with great power through it. John Piper once said, God rewards fasting because fasting expresses the cry of the heart that nothing on earth can satisfy our souls besides God. God must reward this cry because God is most glorified in us when we are most satisfied in Him. Thanks for being with us today. We are praying for you to experience God in an awesome and powerful way. Be sure to share this video and encourage others and drop a comment below. Also, be in the Word. We have links to accompanying scriptures you can use in the bio below or visit citychurch.life. Remember, make prayer a first response and never a last resort.